Shefty, what can you tell us about Derek Carr and his shoulder injury? Well, Field, first of all, I want to commend Ryan Clark on his second outfit change of the day. Outstanding. He looks great. <laughs> I mean, really <laughs> impressive so far. Hey, he breaks all the news. <laughs> Two outfits. Excellent. We'll see if he has a third in line tonight for Monday Night Countdown. As for Derek Carr, he's got a sprained AC joint. Mm-hmm. The Saints now consider him week to week. They're not ready to rule him out for Sunday's game against the Buccaneers just yet. This is going to be a pain tolerance issue. If he can tolerate the pain, he'll be out there. If he can't, he won't. But the Saints feel relieved that it was not as bad as they feared when he left the field yesterday in Green Bay. Jimmy Garoppolo now in concussion protocol for the Las Vegas Mm. Raiders. And there Mm. has not been a player this year who's been placed in protocol one week and played the next week. And that would mean that Jimmy Garoppolo is in danger of missing the Raiders' next game against the Los Angeles Chargers. As for the Chargers, Mike Williams suffered a torn ACL on this play. Mm. He's such a big target. It'll be such a big loss for the Chargers. They'll have to turn to Joshua Palmer, their first-round draft pick, Quinton Johnson, to step in and try to make up for the loss of a huge target and someone that Justin Herbert loved throwing the football to. Mike Williams out for the year, and he is expected to return for training camp next year. You just hate to see that for a player who has battled injuries throughout his career, Shefty. Uh, More from Shefty, including a Joe Burrow update a little bit later on in the show. But, Mina, that's devastating news (laughs) for the Chargers. How much does this change what they do offensively? (laughs) Yeah, this is a huge deal, not just because Mike Williams, great contested catch guy, downfield threat, he's got the size and speed, but his presence on the field creates opening for other players like Keenan Allen, who can get one-on-ones because of the gravity he creates. He moves around the formation. They have him aligned in the slot and outside, uh, as you see here, catching a pass from Allen. So, uh, Shefty mentioned Quentin Johnson, their first-round draft pick out of TCU. One would think he's going to have to take a bigger role, even if he's not the number two wide receiver. Immediately, that would probably be Joshua Palmer. So far through three games, he only has five catches off of eight targets. And what really jumps out is they aren't using him downfield. Mm. His average at the target is only seven yards. That, to me, has to change. Not only do you want to get yards after the catch from him, which is his strong suit, you also want him using that blazing speed to create space for other players. Yeah, and it was notable, at least to me, that after the injury to Mike Williams yesterday, Josh Palmer ran nine routes on nine dropbacks. Yeah. Quinton Johnson just three in those nine opportunities. Perhaps that role grows a lot mm-hmm. in a hurry because they need him. And Adam, some news involving the Rams and Bengals game tonight. What do we know about Joe Burrow's status? Field still nothing official from the Bengals, but I think the Rams have been preparing to play against Joe Burrow, and Joe Burrow wants to be out there and is pushing to be out there. And my understanding is, is that the Bengals are leaving it to him to go through pregame warm-ups to see how he feels, to then make a decision. But if they're going to leave that decision to him, Well, he wants to play. So Mm. that, I think, is the way that it seems to be moving right now. But let's see how he feels during pregame warm-ups. If he can't go, Jake Browning would be the new starter for the Cincinnati Bengals. He has yet to throw a pass in an NFL game. And earlier today, the Bengals also moved up Reed Sinnett from the practice squad to have an extra quarterback for tonight's game as well. He would back up Browning if Burrow were unable to go. There are questions about Puka Nakua, but Sean McVay, the Rams head coach, said that Nakua is expected to play tonight despite being limited to practice and being listed as questionable due to an oblique injury. Didn't practice Thursday, limited Friday and Saturday. But in the words of Sean McVay, Nakua is expected to be out there tonight for the Los Angeles Rams. Fantasy managers exhale right now. Great stuff there from Shefty.